Okay, so holiday air travel is back. And for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic, more passengers traveled through airports this past weekend than Labor Day weekend in 2019. But here's what we really have to talk about. A man on Reddit has gone viral and it sparked a very interesting debate. He was traveling alone, paid an extra amount, a premium uh, fee for a premium seat in the front, front, front of the plane on a 10 hour flight from Greece. He was approached by a family of four who asked if he could swap seats so that family could all sit together. Well, he refused to switch since he paid more for his seat. He said the mom then made a scene when he refused, even called him a bad name, according to him. But here's the question. Should he have swapped seats with the family? Jeff, you always have a big opinion when it comes to travel. Let's get right into it, shall we? <laughs> no, he should not switch seats, okay? I have a family, and this is a 10-hour flight that you paid extra for to have premium service. I'm all, I have a family. I would do anything to sit next to my family, especially on a 10 on a flight. You have to prepare for that as a family. You go to the ticket agent, there are no more seats. There is nothing else we could do. You hit the ATM and you say, listen, here's some cash. I got to sit with my kids. I'm going to give you this money, right, for whatever the premium is, if you please switch with me. One, if he's in the aisle seat and you give him middle, that can't happen. You can't switch an aisle for a middle. Two, if you give him cash, it lightens the mood. And I hate the word refused. The mother got mad at this man for saying, hey, it's a 10 hour flight and I paid extra. No, the mother's in the wrong here. But if, now let me follow No, me no, quickly. final no, answer. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> if right then and there they said to you, here, what's your Venmo? We'll Venmo you the difference. Would you have switched or you'd rather still be in the front? Of the plane. So same scenario. They're giving me cash? Yeah. Venmo cat. Yeah. Would you yeah, I just said that. Yeah. No, you yeah. gave me a scenario, but you didn't actually say if you would do it. Would yes. If, do they, it? if they, if I was by myself and it was a family and they go, here's $500, I would switch. You would switch. Yeah. To go to the back of the plane. Yeah, America, sure. Would you? Uh, this is a shocker. I agree with Jeff. <laughs> I agree with Jeff. Like, let's uh, write down the date. Here's the thing. This just you happened to me. Agree. We always agree. Well, yeah, I would say. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> I would say. We can't agree on that. Yeah, okay. we don't agree on that. Uh, <laughs> this just happened to me uh, a couple months ago. So I had to buy a last minute ticket because I didn't know that I was going to be able to join my family on this vacation. I had to pay premium, like way more than what my family had to pay in order to take this trip. I get on the flight, there's a couple, the guy is sitting in my seat. And he goes, oh, well, I want to sit next to my wife, so why don't you just take uh, my seat? Ew. Now, his seat was also a seat that didn't have another seat in front of it, and I don't particularly like to fly with another seat in front of me. It's just one of my quirks, right? So I purposely didn't get that seat when I knew that this seat was available, which also meant that he got upgraded in order to get that seat, and I had paid double mm. what he paid. And at that point, I'm I'm standing there like, well, you're not really giving me any option here because you're already like having lunch on the plane next to your wife in my seat. Ew. And he just like, I, I was so hot the whole time, but I just took the seat because I'm like, well, you I don't want to. You I don't, took his seat. I did take the seat because I didn't want to sit next to his wife who was going to have an attitude that's with true. me the whole time. But still. But it's wrong. Like if you pay for a seat, then that's your seat. I would at any time give up my seat for a family if it wasn't the difference between the idea that I've just paid a premium or someone from the airline should have gotten involved and been like hey yeah. they prioritize families we're going to give you this stipend in order for you to sit in this seat what if it was a shorter flight would you consider yeah, to it? me it's the 10 hours in Greece no way again mark the date I'm with Erica and Jeff on this one I'm with all three I'm with all well. of us because at some point it's a transaction I pay for this you get that you give me money now we have a business transaction totally different if story. all things being equal you guys were like literally in the same section yeah. that you paid for without the quirk that Erica Cobb is talking yeah. about it would be a no brainer yeah. but would you right. give up a, an aisle seat or no. a window seat no. for a middle no, seat no I would not no yes. I know here's I would not. the other Can thing the we're not no, talking not. about is the fact that it's an international flight so if he's sitting in the first aisle or first he row that means he's first to custom exactly That's as true. opposed yeah, to yeah, 20 yeah. rows right. back what right. if he had a connection right yeah 500 will do the trick. Mm, I don't know. Uh, give me what 500. Was, you could. What if it was $1,500 to sit to the front of the plane?
I don't know, 500 cash. 500 cash in people's okay. face will do a lot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Wave it in there. Yeah, face. that's right. Okay, speaking of cash, speaking of air travel as well, check out what happened to passengers on a recent flight to Vegas. So a man handed out $100 bills. To See what I'm saying? Before. Listen to everyone. <laughs> do you hear them cheering? Um, so what would you do with the extra cash? So you land in Vegas, do you gamble it? Do you say, nope, I'm going to go ahead and pay my AT&T phone bill? What you going to do? No, I put that 100 on black. At the roulette table. Yes. Yes, yeah. Erica. What about you? See, I would be like, hey, who wants to do this? And I get on the microphone and be like, we're going to get four winners because I don't want 100. I want to double down. So if there's 200 people, each winner gets five grand and you just pick random seat numbers. That's how I want to throw Wait, down. You would. I don't want the 100. I want 5,000. So you would take so close? <laughs> yeah. Did you see my philosophy there? Yeah, I, I yeah, love it. What if yeah. nobody wanted to give up their $100 for Jeff's high stakes that, gambling That's rate. the caveat. I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do with the money? I would honestly feel it was divine intervention. I was on that plane, and it's divine intervention to gamble it. But I am a slot girl. Me too. So I would get it in pennies and spend an afternoon or an evening. Yes. You yeah. don't actually oh. need to put pennies in the slot, yeah, child. Okay. You yeah. could just put the whole hundred dollar bill oh, in. Oh right, yeah, right, yeah. right, 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 right. You were gonna Go cash in for a bag of pennies? Oh my god, that's wow. I'm new to Vegas. <laughs> so which slot machine oh, you man. play? Because I'm I'm Wheel one thousand percent committed to Wheel of Fortune. Oh, in fact, I yes. recently went to Black Hawk. It's kind of like our Vegas here in Colorado. Sure is. I had there's one Wheel of Fortune machine that's quarters. They have some penny ones. I don't do the penny ones. Sorry, no offense, Tori. No worries. But I waited for that quarter machine. Mm. No joke for like three hours. Yeah. I perused. I staked perused staked as soon as that lady got up I said it right oh, you're a lurker yeah yeah of course I'm a lurker there's yeah. one machine yeah. also she I get pissed that machine like when I'm out of money and the lurker comes in oh I can't I get I don't think so oh, I get it. You, well I already said it. I get angry <laughs> well, listen if you know me I, there is no happy on the show I'm always mad about something <laughs> But when someone comes in and I'm out of money, I'll look. And if they win, oh, I hate oh, you. Oh, it's your machine. Yeah, it's your yeah. Machine. And I don't know why yeah, I yeah, waste yeah. my time looking, I but I'll stick around oh, for yeah, five or ten minutes. Yeah. yeah, I'll stick around <laughs> as well.